Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing y'all all three methods of getting candy corns and I'm going to be showing y'all what I think is the fastest and best way of collecting these candy corns. So the first thing I like to do when I join a server, and this counts as the first method, is head over to the scare board over here and check if it's updated because the scare board gives the most amount of candy so I like to check right away if it's updated and if it's updated I would recommend doing it first because it gives around 200 300 candy once you've completed everything it gives a crazy amount of candy so always do the scare board first I'm not sure how often the scare board updates but I know it updates at least once a day so just go to it and if you're not sure how it works you, if it says goblins and fish, that means you're going to need to go to the goblins NPC and give them a fish potion. And same thing with developers. So I'm going to teleport back to my cauldron. I'm going to create a fish potion or place one fish into the cauldron. Then I'm going to take it to the goblins. And we can also do the developers. So let's do the, the developers first. So just drink it right in front of the developers. And boom, I just gained almost 50 gems from that. And then just reset and re-repeat the process for every single NPC over here. And for example, for Oz, you just need to put a Disco Potion, Noodles, which is, it's all really easy. And let me do that real quick, and I'll be right back. Once you've completed the scare board, you can move on to the second method and the third method they kind of go together so let's get into that alrighty guys for the second and third method they go together and they evolve the collector and the candy corns so how the collector works is every 30 minutes such as at 7 o'clock 7 30 8 o'clock 8 30 the collector is going to spawn so i like to join the game every 30 minutes when the collector spawns but do note you have to join the game before he spawns so join maybe two minutes early or something so when I join the game, I like to make a speed potion or something that helps me get around the map fast. So mine is 10 giraffe hooves to help me run fast, a teleport, and a flight potion. You don't have to make this, but I recommend making some sort of fly speed potion to help you run around the map fast to collect candy corns. So as soon as I join the game, every 30 minutes, I like to drink my speed potion. And then I, the first thing I do is usually collect the candy corns. So the first one is up on the waterfall, and then I swim down into the water, collect the one down here, and then I just go in a circle around the map. So I start off collecting this one, and I just teleport to this one, and then there's another all the way in the corner over here, and I really love the teleport potion since it's really fast, and it just makes collecting them go by really fast. And sometimes one spawns in the volcano, it's not all the time. And oh, there's one right here right now. Perfect. And then the other one should be near this tree. And then fly up to the bird. And then the last two are going to be in this cave. And near the pet tags ingredient. Alright, so that's all the candy corns. And once I do that, I like to go do the trader. So. I teleport over here, you see what he wants, he wants an invisible potion, so just open your potion book, go to spells, type invisible, and that's a charmeleon and a superhero cape. So if you don't have some of the premium ingredients he wants, then you may just have to skip that potion and do a different one, but since I have all the premium ingredients, I can do it. Fairy and frog. So the next one's fairy and frog. So these are all free ingredients. So everyone should be able to do this one. So if you don't have the first one, just skip it and then just do the second one. And each of these give you 10, um, 10 gems. So you get 30 gems from this, and you get about 30 gems from collecting the the candy corns around the map at the very beginning. So that means every 30 minutes you're getting about 60 gems. So if you just do that for the entire day and just join every 30 minutes and be sure to do the scare board, you're probably going to get over a thousand candy corns that day. To recap, every 30 minutes, join the game, drink some sort of speed potion that you have saved to help you get around the map fast, collect all the candies in the order I showed you, 
or in your own order if you'd like and then trade with a collector and every couple hours be sure to check the scare board to see if it's updated since the scare board is the fastest way but it updates every few hours it takes a long time and that being said i really hope this video helped you out